I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog .com. There's only three more days till the blended seasons and stitched shapes framelit dies is gone for good. If you haven't got it yet, this is just a reminder that availability ends on the 31st of August. Also, the bonus days are coming to an end. For every £45 you spend, excluding shipping and handling, you'll earn a 4 50 bonus coupon, which will be emailed you direct from Stamping Up, and then you can redeem it against your purchases in September. Please keep the emails safe, because if you accidentally delete them, they cannot re be replaced and they will be lost forever. Remember the first video I showed you on this bundle? We made this card and we had the leftovers from this centre here. And this is what I've made. So in fact this is also a sneak peek. On the 5th of September you'll be able to purchase products from the new Autumn Winter catalogue. I can only show you the front cover but I can't show you anything inside. So today's project we're going to be using those leftover bits that from that first project I did with the Blended Seasons bundle. We need this and an extra piece of cardstock in balmy blue and I'm using the middle frame die from the Stitched Seasons framelits to die cut a frame which you see here and the largest of the Stitched Seasons Framelits dies to die cut another layer here. To save time I've already die cut the bow out of real red cardstock. We need the stamping blends, the combo pack in Granny Apple Green and here are new ones from the new Autumn Winter catalogue and this is in real red. This is our sneak peek. We're using the Blizzard Thinlets dies and it will die cut all the snowflakes in one sheet. And die cut loads and loads of snowflakes with only one pass through the big shot. I haven't got them all here but these are just some of them. So that's fantastic. Use this. Uh, on a piece of cardstock which will be as a background which will be just as pretty or you can use them individually. You need a sparkle glimmer paper, precision base plate, your big shot and magnetic platforms. With the precision base plate you only need one cutting plate. This one will be attached to your magnetic platform and then that will go on top. You also need the Big Shot platform, one of the clear plates, um, your blue silicone embossing mat and the white impressions embossing plate. Balmy blue and grey granite ink as well as the second release watercolour pencils assortment. Now these are available until the 31st August. It may appear in a future publication but um, it's not been guaranteed. Smallest 1 8 inch handheld punch An aqua painter. Now I've already die cut the large stitched um, seasons frame and then I die cut the smaller one, uh, the mid medium one. So we want, you can save that for another day, but what we want is the frame to create this frame and I just fussy cut it by hand so I'll probably fast forward this I'm going to stamp the holly leaves in grey granite use the real red stamping blends and I'm just going to put that on a silicon mat because it will bleed through. So let's do the berries first. I'm only going to do one set because we only need the one. Okay. 
then I need to fussy cut this and I'll fast forward it. A bit more stamping, this time I'm using Wishing You All the Best. Oh no. Oh well that's covered it up with a grey granite and the holly leaves. So I'm just going to ink up this one and get a cloth to wipe away the bits I don't want stamped. Make sure it's dry and just stamp it here. This time I'm not using the blends because it will bleed through and this is the back of the card so I'm using the watercolour pencils instead. So this is shaded spruce and this is granny apple green cherry cobbler I think this is. Take my aqua painter and just blend it. Now's the exciting bit. Take your big shot platform, um, your bottom cutting plate, the blizzard thinlet die with um, the cutting edge face up, your frame. This is the top, so have that over the die, your blue silicon mat, white impressions embossing plate. Then you're ready to run it through the big shot and I'll do that off camera. See the magic? Isn't that beautiful? Next I want to punch a hole at the top, right in the middle, like so, to die cut your snowflakes. So pop your <coughs> Precision base plate on the magnetic platform, a sparkle glimmer paper on top, the die with the cutting edge face down, one clear cutting plate, then you're ready to run it through the big shot. Some glue onto my snowflake and then I'll glue it onto the corresponding snowflake here. And take my frame and add some adhesive on that as well. So I'll do that off camera. Adhere that frame. Make sure that these points marry up with those points here. And then the rest will follow. Cut a strip of um, silver and white baker's twine. It's roughly about nine inches. <coughs> Loop it over in half and take the die cut bow, loop it through the center, loop it through the hole on your balmy blue piece, and the whisper white piece. And then pull it tight. Pop a dimensional on this piece here, on your holly. Oops. Mm, bit of it showing, so let's snip that off. And then pop that on. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed today's offering. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe or share on Facebook. And my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the Show More section with direct links to my online store. They'll also be listed on my blog at blog.stampwithelaine.com. 
You can find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.